E911 Talk Podcast, episode 87, for Monday, June 4th, 2012. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, Pilot Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. The other week in Boston, nearly 4,000 Avaya users, distributors, and solution vendors congregated together for the IAUG 2012 Global Education Conference. There were several Avaya DevConnect E911 vendors attending the show, with 911 ETC, 911 Enable, Conveyance Systems, and Red Sky Technologies all participating on the great E911 debate, which was held on Sunday afternoon. Last fall at the Northeast Regional Show in Newport, Rhode Island, we did a trial run of the debate and found a few kinks that we needed to work out. One of the main problems was allowing each participant to deliver their own introduction, which brought us well out of our time allotment. Another issue was limiting the responses to a specific length of time and enforcing that. Well, learning from my mistakes last year, I read the introductions myself and used my handy stopwatch function on my smartphone to limit all answers that were going out of bounds. Because I stayed on time, I was able to ask five questions and each of the panelists were able to respond with their view and opinion. We even had time for audience questions at the end. The questions I asked were, what do you see as the primary challenge of the PBX administrator when implementing an E911 solution in the enterprise PBX? What is your view of existing legislation for MLTS in the 17 states that have legislation? And how would you propose to change any deficiencies? Describe your strategy for next generation 911 products within the enterprise and what value add your company brings to the table. What single feature do you see as most critical for an enterprise E911 deployment? And finally, what is your view on location reporting granularity to public safety? Well, as you can imagine, each vendor had their specific spin based on how their architecture dealt with E911 and managing the data that goes along with it. Fortunately, the session was captured on both audio and videotape and will be made available for download on the IAUG website in the immediate future. You can follow me on Twitter at Fletch911 so you'll be notified as soon as that's ready for viewing. Based on the customer interaction and the level of detail those customers wanted to discuss, it was clear that they listened well and were in a much better place to talk about what they needed for their E911 solution. It was also good to see that I had several discussions with consultants. You see, when you need to buy or implement something that you know very little about, one of the quickest and safe avenues to take is to use a consultant. But not every consultant knows everything about every topic. Sure, there are consultants that specialize in E911, and there are some that claim they specialize in just about anything that you're ready to buy. E911 is a very specific topic. And just throwing around buzzwords doesn't necessarily mean that someone knows what they're talking about. Watch out for the ones that sell just on fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Sure, laws exist, but many of those laws actually don't make sense. And a good consultant will point that out and help you develop a plan that's better and current with technology. Now, if they don't have someone on their staff, there's no shame in that. They do know others in the industry and will be able to bring them in to handle the 911 issues for your environment. Make sure you look for references and completed jobs. Don't forget to stay tuned for a special edition of the Telecom Junkies podcast, which can be found at www.thevoicereport.com, where CCMI president and publisher George David will follow up with myself and our panelists Bill, Lev, Nick, and Tim for a detailed wrap-up session on the debate. Just in case you missed it, you can catch the Telecom Junkies podcast prequel that was recorded a few weeks ago prior to the show. So... The big question is, who was the winner? Well, personally, I think that answer was crystal clear. But in true Ryan Seacrest, American Idol fashion, stay tuned. We'll announce that right after this. 
You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, Product Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911. 911, the line is recorded. What is the exact location of your emergency?